Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to create an email validator. So for this you'll need to use this code here pip3 install email validator and then you need to import this module above into your program for it to work. Okay so let's uh, get started shall we? So we're going to create get validate email uh, we're going to type in here email and then we're going to assign it to input so we're going to create an input box where the user inputs an email and we just tell the user what to do enter email <coughs> Right, now we're going to use an error handler called try and we're going to use validate email address it's going to be email and then we're going to print I'm going to format the string like this is valid so we're going to format the string like this dot format email so if it's a valid email address it'll print the email address out here and tell you that it's uh, a valid email address and here comes the exception here and we're going to use email not valid error <coughs> then we're going to print out another message and we're going to format it again we're going to use f string we're going to use uh, this style of formatting so email And then isn't valid. All right. Okay. So what we do is we save that, and we've got to call the program, which is called get validate. email save it again let's uh, run the program hopefully I've not made any typos okay running the program let's just uh, get, look a little bit bigger here let's type in an email address that's valid so Dave at hotmail.com Okay, so Dave at hotmail.com is valid. Okay, let's uh, run it again. Let's type in an email address that isn't valid. So Dave at dot com. Uh, that would actually be valid. Uh, M O C. Okay. Hit enter. Isn't valid. Okay, so that's one way to write it. We're just going to uh, check out another way to write this. So, create validate email. Okay, again, we're going to type in email. We're going to assign it to input to get the user input and then we tell the user what uh, we want them to do enter email uh, let's have a look I think we could uh, 
use the if statement here. So again, I'm going to use an error handler or try. And we're going to use the if statement here to evaluate things. Uh, validate email address. We've got email here. So if validate email address, so if it's validated, we're going to print email. It is valid. And then we're going to throw the exception if it's not. Email not valid error here, and then we're going to print. Let's have a look. Print. I'm going to use the F string again. Email. Not valid. Okay. Right, all we have to do is call this now. Validate email. Save it there. Let's just uh, run the program. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Type in an email, Dave at hotmail.com. Valid email. Okay, let's uh, run it again. Just uh, some rubbish there. Not valid. So there you go. Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Give it a big thumbs up and I will catch you in another video. Bye-de-bye. -bye.